Alright guys, this is part two of what Xanime had to say in Psycho Babble uh, uh, live tonight. Uh, she's absolutely fucking amazing. Like, this woman's fucking amazing. Like, I screwed up at the beginning, and I'm gonna keep saying that because that was my fault. This woman, once she realized that I'm true to who I am, and that I'm actually sorry that I did what I did at the beginning, I asked her, I apologized to her. And she didn't have to accept. She didn't have to accept my apology. But she did. Which shows she's a bigger person than most of these fucking people that are stuck up Ryan up church's ass. Well, let's hear what she has to say. I want to say, um, I think it's, I think it's going to be my last words. I don't want, I want to really put all of this crap behind me because it got way out of hand. My family is getting hurt. I want to say something. I am a fan of multiple channels on this YouTube, just like any one of you. I get into the chats. I call in once in a while. I was just at the wrong time, at the wrong place, got called out for something. I wanted to do something good. I wanted to volunteer because I was going to be in the area anyways. I really wanted to do something good for this family. Yes, I might have put out a, a cute little video um, of me and my dog having fun on the lake like anyone else would because that's my, that's my life. And I am truly sorry for what her family is going through. I am. But the thing is, I have nothing to do with any of this stuff and getting accused and getting bullied and harassed and doxxed and all of my information is out there that's including my job, my family, uh, my address, my telephone number. I don't answer any more phone calls anymore. Getting death threats. Anybody that's doing this to her, you're a worthless fucking piece of shit. That's what you are. A worthless piece of shit. This woman shouldn't have to be scared to go outside. This woman shouldn't have to be scared to go see her family. This woman shouldn't have to be scared to pick up her phone because some fucking prick is going to be on there saying some fucking stupid shit because somebody doxed her. The fuck is wrong with people nowadays? For what? For what? For being out there, having this trip planned, kayaking, and taking some videos and posting it. And now everybody thinks I'm a conspiracy theory. No, this needs to stop. Not just me. There are people got wrapped in into this whole situation. People got wrapped in. My friends got blamed for something. My friends are getting doxxed as well. For something that is completely untrue. 100%. And that is all I have to say. And I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of rep from this. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of hate, and I'm people going to go around and start saying a lot of other things. I'm just a person that is making my own life, that is helping out my own family, and then trying to be good, trying to do good for this country. That's who I am. If you have a problem with that, go ahead. Go ahead, uh, harass me on my YouTube channel again. I'm not going to shut that down because I want to display it. And I want to stand up for every single person that has been harassed and doxxed and everything on this YouTube platform. I am done. I am done being nice. They're doxxing you now? 
Jeez. Oh my God, this dude. Uh, this dude was. I, I don't think he was trying to be an ass, but he was pissing me off. It doesn't have anything to do with this, so I'm not going to talk about it here, but don't interrupt the people. And he did that all night. But anyways, back to this. They've been doxing me since the day one. Yeah, I'm going to say this. I think that's all she says, so... <coughs> um... Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with people? Like, you can have your opinion of anybody or anything or anything that's going on in your life. That's your fucking opinion. Have it. Have your opinion. You can go after an individual. That's fine. Go after that individual. But when you go after that individual's family, friends, job, phone number, address, any of that other bullshit, then you have took it too fucking far. You'd become... A fucking worthless piece of shit. If you don't like somebody, hell, you don't like them, who gives a fuck? Go at that person. But don't go at the rest of their fucking family, friends, and, and shit. And if the person didn't do anything at all, like Santa Mae did not do anything at all, don't go after them at all. Because... Why the fuck did you go after him in the first place? But that's just how I feel, guys. How do you guys feel about this? Hopefully she doesn't, like, disappear from chatting with everybody because I think everybody wants to know more about her. I think her going through her story on her YouTube would be fucking awesome. Like, her whole story, like, from getting into the Army, uh, her family, getting help in her... Like, I've seen the video, but I want to see the, her to explain it all to us in her words. Like, she explained some in the video, but you get what I'm saying. And, uh, I think that's kind of stuff that she should talk about on her channel. But also stay with the stuff she did on the fire and stuff. That was pretty cool. I, I was interested in the whole video. That's why I shared it. But, uh, yeah, she's amazing. Uh, people being an asshole too is just fucking stupid.